I'm going to talk to you today about how your strike affects your spin, launch and flight. So the centre of gravity has moved ever so slightly. This here pretty much sums it up. If we hit the ball off the toe, it encourages draw spin. If we hit the ball off the heel, it encourages fade spin. So that's called gear effect. It also works top to bottom. So when we strike the ball higher on the face, we get less backspin. When we strike the ball lower on the face, we encourage more backspin. Basically, golf is a game of opposites. We hit it off here and it goes the other way. We hit it off here and it goes that way. We hit it off the top, it dips down more. We hit it off the bottom, it spins up more. Now that's partly why TaylorMade have the twist face technology where they have more curvature on the face. So the face just blends out more and it blends in more. And I can see it from this angle here. So if you can see from here where that just, you can see more of the toe at that angle there. So that toe is just a bit more pronounced coming out this way. The reason they've done that is because this toe strike sends the ball to the left, they've opened this toe up a bit more to start the ball further right to reduce how far left that strike goes. And then off the heel as well, that heel's just got a little bit more curved relief. So if we hit that strike off the heel and it encourages fade spin off to the right, the ball starts further left to bring that flight back and get you straighter drives for your off center hits. You can see I've put some dots on the faces here and I'm just about to show you how I've come about this dot and it's quite a simple process really but this dot is where the center of gravity is on the club face so anything above that is going to be more likely to spin lower anything below that is going to be more likely to spin higher anything off the toe is going to be more likely to draw anything off the heel is going to be more likely to fade so I've got a little metal doodah here this is from a fitting kit this goes on here and I balance the head on here onto that point to find that center point straight away. So the interesting part of this is that when I have this tailor-made slider driver, the slider driver on the toe setting for the fade has this center of gravity. When we put the weight on the heel, we have this center of gravity. So the center of gravity has moved ever so slightly. But what that does is when we've got the draw setting on, we've got a smaller area that encourages high spin fade shots. And we've got more of an area that encourages draw spin and low spin. So it just changes how that moment of inertia, how that twisting, how that rebound off the face affects the golf ball. So that is a fair amount of slide here. And it's only a subtle little change on the face, but I think that's enough to make a difference on your side spin, back spin and launch characteristics. So the best place in theory to get the most out of your driver, we want to launch the ball quite high and we want to launch the ball with low spin to get the most efficiency of flight in general. So the more we can strike the ball on this top half and the more we can strike the ball maybe towards the toe if you're trying to encourage draw spin and discourage any fade spin from technique for example. Now if you cut across the ball or you leave the face open to create a massive right shot if you strike the ball off the toe compared to the heel you're still going to hit that bad shot the strike will just mitigate it will just take the edge off of that bad shot but essentially your technique is going to reign supreme on the overall direction of that golf ball one way of testing where you strike the ball on the face is to lick your finger and wipe the face so you get a bit of a residue on there or maybe don't advise that if they've been fertilizing the golf course not ideal another way is maybe some foot spray that goes on the face and you can see where the ball strikes there's lots of different ways to do it but if you want to get a feel for how your strike is affecting your ball flight I had a lesson yesterday and the gentleman was hitting the ball off the heel, off the heel, off the heel, off the heel. So we stood there and we lined the ball off the toe to start with and as he came through the ball he got the ball back to the middle. When he got it off the middle the ball was going faster, he was getting less fade spin and he was even hitting a little bit of a draw. So all very good characteristics from just the sake of getting that strike more over this side of the club face. I've got a tailor-made Sim 2 Max D where the weight is right in the heel of this club. So if we look at these two drivers, this Cleveland Launcher XL is a little bit more evenly placed and this tailor-made just has a bit more area around this part of the club. Now I did think that that centre of gravity would be a bit lower in the tailor-made if I'm honest. Something that would help that is that speed pocket to help that bottom part of the face release that little bit more. So that could be why there's a little bit more room at the bottom because this is helping the launch of the tailor-made. I 
hope that helps you understand a little bit more of how your strike on the club face affects your direction and flight. As the ball compresses on the face, it's going to squash down and cover quite a large area on the face, maybe about the size of a small thumbprint. So it's going to cross over these lines, it's not going to be exact. But the best place to strike it is top half, maybe slightly towards the toe for most people. If you're looking to manipulate your flight somewhat, you can do things like put lead tape on your clubs or if you've got a club that is adjustable we can move this weight round. The theory out there is that when you move the weight to the toe the toe is slower and the heel is faster so it opens the face more and if the heel if the weight's on the heel the toe is lighter and turns over the ball quicker but what if you turn it over too early what if you turn it over too late it doesn't quite match up to it doesn't quite that's not quite as consistent for everybody in terms of moving that weight around to manipulate the center of gravity that makes more sense to me to change the flight characteristics so you're going to get through the ball in the same way it's that strike that's going to change how your ball rebounds and spins so i hope that's given you a bit more understanding of your strike patterns if you can test it and have a go yourself on the driving range or even on the golf course just to get a feel for your strike. Maybe try and do things to change your strike. Drop in a comment if you're not sure how to. Thanks very much. Tune into the next video and I will see you again next week.